Hello friends, as you can see, this video is about bearing the Euphoria UM2 audio interface. This is the most commonly used audio interface by the sound lovers, sound enthusiasts. And rest assured, it is based for beginners, YouTubers, vloggers, vocalists, instrument players, all can use this device to the extent of satisfaction. I will just tell you in brief about this device. It is having on the front panel two inputs. This one is XLR plus 6.35 mm input dual jack. This one is instrument for instrument 2 or gain 2. This one is 6.35 mm jack. This one is direct to monitor or bypassing monitor switch on off like this. And this one is headphone jack. On the back panel of the monitor, on the back panel of the device, there are two outputs, RCA outputs for sound output. This one is for USB cable connection and this one is 48 volt supply for phantom power. Remember this, this is very important for using condenser mic. Now these are the gains, this is the gain control for line 1, line 2 and this is the gain control for output. Now through this line 1, you can connect condenser mic and you can connect condenser mic only through line 1 because the XLR connection of the line 1 is having phantom power supply. When you connect the XLR as per the designs given on this jack, then you have to make this button of 48 volt on. So when you make it on, it will show light here. 48 volts and when you connect this device with laptop, it will gain power from the laptop through the USB and the power, uh, power light will blink on. We will see just, you can see this USB jack connect this type of USB cable to this power jack, this USB jack and another portion of that cable is connected to laptop. This is USB 3 port of the laptop. Now, as we had made the 48 hole connection on and the device has been connected to the power that is laptop, both the lights are showing on. This 48 hole is to be used only for the purpose of supplying power to the condenser mic. There is no other use of that. So, as we, I am not using condenser mic at this moment, I will just turn it off. So, the light will get off. Now, what you need for recording and using these devices? All you need is a laptop, a second instrument, it can be Tanpura or it can be guitar, it can be any other thing which you want to use as a second instrument. Then condenser mic assembly, there is condenser mic, XLR cable, this one is in-ear monitoring device, ILM or any headphone you can use for the monitoring purposes. These are the adapting, adapter cables, adapter jacks which you are expected to use with these sockets, alright. Now I will make connections for this thing, I am using uh, cordless mic for audio input. So this is the cordless mic setup, so I will put it in jack 1 and make it power on. Now it is powered on through input 2 or jack 2, I will put this connection that connection is given to the Tanpura. So, Tanpura will be acting as a instrument 2 or gain 2 jack. Now, we will check the connections again and see the sound output, how it comes. Now, I will just make the cordless device power on and I will connect this RCA jack to the RCA cable and which is connected, uh, which is again connected to the external sound. Like this. Now as the output is at 0, we will not be able to listen any sound. So if we connect headphone to this thing, then we will be having feedback for this 
then now I will just turn the output on, you see whether you can get any output through the external speakers. Now this is the output you are getting through the external speakers. Now I will make the tampur on. This is the tampur output and both the outputs are through the external speakers. Now I will reduce the instrument to output. Tampur output is limited only to the instrument only and it is not through the external sound. If I reduce the line 1, then the caller mic output is reduced and this one is for output only. Now when I increase this output, this SIG, you can see on the panel, SIG will go on blinking. So if the sound is very higher, then like this, I am increasing the gain to a higher extent, then the red light. The red light that you clip, the red light will blink and it suggests that the sound is too loud to prevent from distortion. So you, we have to keep the gain at around 60 to 70 percent for proper output. This output button is only concerned with the output to the headphone or the external speaker. This has nothing to do with the recording. Now if we go to record these things in say audacity if i start recording now this recording is been done only with the audio which i am speaking if i stop speaking you can see there is a straight line appearing and there is no recording at all so if i play this i'll just stop the tankura if i play this you just listen what you are able to listen now this recording is being done only with the audio which I am speaking. So you can appreciate that the Tanpura voice or gain 2 uh, voice is very minimal. So practically there is no recording which we are able to do through gain 2. Now we will do some adjustments for that recording. Just go to settings, go to system settings, go to sound, I think you might be able to appreciate. If the uh, bearing a USB is connected to the USB port 3, USB 3 port, then only additional options are shown you, shown to you. Now in input, go to device properties. Now in device properties, microphone again go to additional device properties. In additional device properties, you will be able to see general, listen, levels and advanced. Now go to advanced. In advanced, you can see one channel, 16 bits, etc., etc., whatever written. Go to the drop down list and select the last option. That is two channel, 16 bit, 48,000 hertz DVD quality. Select apply. Yes. Okay. Now minimize this thing and now we will see what happens with the recording, what changes occur in the recording. Now I will make the tanpura on again and the recording on. You can see this one is the recording of the tanpura which was not existent before making the changes and this is the recording what of what I am speaking. Just we will check it out again. You can see this one is the recording of the Tanpura which was not existed before making the changes and this is the recording what of what I am speaking. Just we will check it out again. So this is very loud and clear how to make the adjustments to make the recording crystal clear of whatever performance you are doing at home. This is a very simple way, but I had to search a lot to find solutions for this way out because practically bearing on website of Behringer or any uh, sound forums, the solution, particularly the solution is not mentioned in a proper way. So thank you for watching, that's all folks. And furthermore, I want to say one thing, 
the likes and subscribes are free of cost for this channel. So, hit Corona, just like and subscribe. Thank you.